Yo, 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 yo. I'm back, I'm back. All right, today, it's not gonna be no beat making. It's more of a tips. Uh, I'm gonna show you how, what, how, I, how I go about using um, Simple One when I need to make like trap beats, drill, you know, whatever you want. Um, but most of the stuff's gonna focus on hip hop, but you could do it for anything else. All right, so first, I'm gonna show you what everybody knows. So, you know, once you open Simple One, you could you could drag any uh, one shots or any uh, loops that you have, you could drag it in there. All right, so usually, that's if I want this to kick, you know, you could just drag it in there. Another thing you could do also, you could you could add you could add you could layer the the kick. Right here, see. You can lay as many sounds as you want, and also let's say if you want one sound to sound louder. Uh, if you didn't notice, let me show you a trick. Uh, instead of just raising the volume, if you try to raise the volume right here, you're gonna raise both of the both of them at the same time. Uh, what you need to do, you click on the, the one you want to change the volume, or you want to do whatever to. You click Edit Simple. Once you do that. It turns orange. When it turns orange, you can just do whatever you want to it. And then once you're done, click it back. So now, see, it's not going to affect the other one. Uh, did I even save it? No, I didn't save it. All right, so let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so I did save it. All right, Um. so you see how if I click on the other one, the gain is at zero. If I click on this one, it's at negative nine. So now if you play it, so you could barely hear the other kick. You mostly hear in this one. And also you could you could do that for anything. Right here, you could also turn the filter on and say. And put that louder. Alright. Alright. So that's one thing. You could do, especially if you're trying to make your own sound. That's a good way to go about doing it. Just layer a few um, kicks or snares or whatnot together, and then just mess with, mess around with them. Just change the sound a little bit to see how you know what you come up with. And plus, you know, there's a there's built-in effects down here you could use, like like some um, reverb. You're not gonna use it in the kick, but on other instruments like piano shots. Um, uh, leads and snares even and hi-hats you can use all that stuff all right so and then let's say you have a, a note I mean uh, <laughs> a simple in here and you don't like it if you want to remove it you just click on it and click remove remove sample if you want to remove all of them just you go click remove all all right and then continue all right so that's one thing another thing you could do is um uh, let's say you want to use this right here all right you got this right there right all right but you don't want to use the whole loop you just want to use part of it um if you click on the edge of the screen right here you could move it around then it could start somewhere else and then the other end will end it, all right? So now, see, there you go. So from that loop itself, you could come up with a whole different beat. It could be your, it could be your own loop. I don't, I don't care how many times you use that loop. You could just go and take some um, section of the uh, of that loop and then sample your own work. You know, nothing stopping you from doing that. All right. So from there, that's basically it. You could just lay down a new melody, whatever you want to do. All right. So okay, we're not gonna waste the time. So we're gonna go back. All right. Another way you could also do it is, let's say 
you have the thing playing right here. That's the way I like to do it. I'll listen to the loop. All right, so I'm gonna raise this because it's kind of low. I can't see the can't see the thing. All right. I like this part right here. So I'm gonna take my razor, cut it right there, and cut it there. So from from there, if you click on the the middle part, you know the section that you need, you right click and you send it to um sample one. Um, mine's I was using it before, so that's why it showed up for me. But if it doesn't show up for you, uh, it should be on third um audio and then all your parts then go down to send to simple one so it's gonna it's gonna open a new simple one and it's gonna send that yep see then from there, like I said, you could mess around with it. Mm. All right, okay, that's it. All right, um, so let's we don't need this anymore, and I don't think that we need this one. All right. Another thing you could do is, let's say you want to use this right here. Alright, so another way I like to use it is if I want to slow down a certain part of the, um, the beat or the loop. What you could do is you just cut out whatever you want us. But just for this um example, I'm just gonna cut it from here. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Go to send to um, simple one. So now send that that only section back to simple one. All right. So what you could do is uh, where is it? I think it's this one right here. I think it's that one. All right, so now you can manipulate the whole part to however you want. All right, so we're gonna go right here and all right, so we're gonna lower it and stretch it. All right, let's hear it. Let's see how that's done. All right, well, first we need to mute this one. All right. Um, I mean, it doesn't sound anything crazy, but at least, you know, that's something you could do. You could do it in any part of the loop. I said toward the end, you want to slow it down, you could do that. Um, or you could raise it up, you could do whatever you want with it. All right, so that's enough. All right, uh, we don't need this anymore. We don't need this. All right, okay, let's say you have another loop right here. Like, oh, damn, I like the I like that piano at the beginning, right? Like I said, it's almost the same thing I showed you earlier. You just copy this, you send it just. And then we're just gonna use that part. All right, All right we're gonna use this part. So let's see. Again, uh, what you could do is you can start messing around with this, change it to the whatever you want. Let's add. Okay, um, we 
couldn't EQ it. We're gonna take out the bottom end of this. to it. So now, basically, you can just create your own instrument. So now you have your own instrument. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, yeah, it sounds like I kind of repeat that step from the previous one, but I was showing you something else. But this one, let's say you want to build your own instrument, you can just search for loops all over the internet. And if you want to use somebody else's loop, you can just you can just take a certain part of that loop, just like a little one shot of that loop, and then you create it do whatever you want with it um and it becomes your own stuff uh instead of just taking a uh, let's say you go to splice you find a loop instead of using that whole loop that everybody else gonna be using you can just take part of that loop and change it around send it to simple one and do whatever you want with it um simple one is actually there's a lot more you could do with it oh before i forget one more thing you could do is let's remove this remove one. all right you can record your own sound all right you could just go right here make sure your mic is hooked up um usually it'll tell you whatever you connect to make sure it's hooked up and then you just press record all right so where was i all right see right here it shows up automatically let's move with it this one sound louder, so let's go. go. Alright, so yeah. Oh. Alright, let's remove all these things. Yeah, I know I'm rushing through this. Hopefully you can follow you follow what I was doing. Uh, one more thing is when like for 808 and some snares, hi hats and whatnot. Most of the time, all all those are been recorded on a different um note, so not all of them is under C. So let's say this one. Let's I usually get my 808 from Splice, so it comes with the note. It tells you what note it's in, so. Let's say if this one's in E, but the root note in here inside simple one is C. So, um, so, so instead of E, the C is actually the the E in here. So when you're using 808s and mostly 808s, um, you do that for any things you put in there. Um, you want it, you want to find the root note to that of that 808. So 
and this case is already tell it already told me what what is it on so all i gotta do is just change it i put it on e and then so now let's see how that little thing moves let's, let's put it back see now it goes down to it goes down to um right here it goes down to um to, to c if you want it to be an e you press it put an e see how it moved to e so now when you press c c will be c instead of e another thing is i noticed a lot of people have an issue with uh, sometimes when you drag a one shot in there it's only on one note it's not spread across the whole keyboard um let's say this one i'll be like this Uh, I think something like that. I don't know exactly how it comes, but all right, see, okay. I'll be like this. A lot of people ask me why I cannot play it across the whole keyboard. That's because it's not spread across the whole keyboard. So when you when you hit this, there's only one note. You can only use one note. So if you want to use the whole keyboard, you have to change this. Uh, usually I go I go down to. Uh, hold on. Right, usually I go down to two and then I put this at five. Alright. So now you could you could play whatever keys you want throughout the um keyboard. Alright, um so that's it. Um this video wasn't playing, obviously, because I'm all mumbling everywhere. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. If you didn't, let me know. I'll try to do it again when I do have time. And um, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, comment, likes. All right, I'm out. Thank you.